As a farmer, you have a dream of a healthy and well-producing herd. But are you aware the journey starts at the very beginning of calf's birth? In this video, we give you calf management tips from birth to maturity for optimal growth and future production. Join me, your host, Bikimani, and remember to share, like, and subscribe to our channel. Proper calf management is essential for ensuring that your calves grow up healthy and become productive members of your herd. This guide provides you with a comprehensive approach to calf care from birth through maturity, with special attention given to female calves to maximize their future production potential. We have five key areas, with the first one being management after birth. The immediate actions are cleaning the calf to ensure the calf's nose and mouth are clear of mucus to facilitate breathing. Dry the calf using a clean towel. Dry the calf thoroughly, which helps in regulating body temperature and stimulate circulation. Colostrum intake is an essential practice since colostrum is critical as it provides essential antibodies and nutrients that build the calf's immune system. Ensure the calf consumes 10% of its body weight in colostrum within the first 6 hours of birth. For example, if your calf is 50 kg, you sh it should receive at least 5 liters of colostrum. Our step number two is feeding and nutrition. Use high quality milk and milk replacers. If using replacers, follow the manufacturer's instruction for mixing and feeding. Provide milk at least two to four times daily with amounts depending on calf's age and weight. Start with around two liters per feeding and gradually increase to four liters or more as the calf grows. The temperature check of the milk is important and this you should ensure that the milk is at least at the body temperature before feeding. In the transition to solid food, it's always a, a critical and important step in the calf's growth. Solid feeds introduction is important and it should be high quality starter feeds at allowed one week of age. This encourages human development and prepares the, the calf for winning. Ensure calves have access to fresh water and a good quality calf starter feed. By 6th to 8th week, they should be consuming around 1 to 2 kg of starter feeds daily. Our step number 3 involves health management, which is very critical. Legular monitoring is the secret to ensure that you are aware of all developments in your calves. Monitor weight and growth regularly where a healthy calf should gain at least 0.7 to 1 kg per day. Observe the signs of illness such as coughing, nasal discharge or diarrhea. Consult a veterinarian of any issues that may arise along. Vaccination is critical to gain a shield against life-threatening diseases. Follow a vaccination schedule for common diseases like bovine respiratory diseases, where you should consult your vet for a tailored vaccination program. It is advisable to implement a warming schedule as recommended by your vet to prevent internal parasites. Our fourth step focuses on special consideration for female calves, which are our future milk producers. Ensure your female calves receive adequate nutrition to support their future milk production capabilities. Balanced relations with appropriate protein, energy, and minerals are very, very crucial. Have a keen growth monitoring focus where female calves should reach puberty and achieve appropriate weight at least 12 to 15 months of age, ensuring that they are ready for bleeding. Here, we share some of the best management practices of calves which involve socialization and environment which provides a stress-free environment and proper socialization opportunity with other calves to support overall development and reduce stress. We are all aware that calves are very preful animals. Our fifth and final step is winning and transition. For winning, timing is very crucial and that's why we begin winning when calves are eating sufficient solid feed and their growth is steady. Typically, winning occurs around 6th to 8th week of age. Winning should be gradual, reduce the milk gradually over a week or two to avoid digestive upset. The post-winning care provides for continued nutrition. The calves should be fed with a high quality foliage and a balanced relation to support continued growth and development. 
Keep an eye on the calf's health and growth post weaning, making adjustment to the feeds as needed. And in conclusion, proper calf management from birth to maturity is crucial for developing healthy, productive future cows. By following these guidelines, you can ensure that your calves grow into strong, high-performing members of your herd, particularly female calves that will contribute to a farm's milk production in the future. Regular monitoring, proper nutrition, and health care are key components of successful calf weaning. Remember to watch our previous videos on dairy cow nutrition, lead napier glass, Pak Chong and other daily farming guides on our YouTube channel. Remember to always consult your vet. Kwani ukulima ni faida. Faida AgriVenture Limited and Kilimo Faida TV are excited to invite you to an immersive organic farming seminar and tour at the Gadengera Practical Farmer Culture Center in Ivasha. The event is tailored for farmers, university and college students, organic farming advocates, and agricultural experts. What to expect of the tour? Natural farming and composting, we will gain insights into eco-friendly farming techniques and effective composting methods, conservation of indigenous crops, we will get to learn how to preserve and enhance indigenous crop varieties, explore diverse herb species and their uses in sustainable farming, and water conservation, where you will learn to discover practical approaches to water management and conservation. And to wrap it up, you will enjoy exploring our nature camp and experience the beauty of the farm. You will get a certificate of participation to acknowledge your commitment to sustainable agriculture. The program will cost you only 1,500 shillings, which includes transport from Nakuru to the farm and back, or 1,000 shillings for those to be picked up at Naivasha. Do not miss this opportunity to expand your knowledge and network with like-minded individuals. Contact us through the number on the screen and see the payment details. Welcome to the best agritourism program in Kenya.